Hey guys, welcome back to another video and this video is about BV, which is bacterial vaginosis and it was requested and I'm not going to name any names, it's just, you know, one of those topics where you just talk about it. And a matter of fact, it kind of feels like you know, I'm a little uncomfortable in my chair, you know, because when I said I would uh, tell you guys about it, I was like, yeah, you know, power to us, you know, let me try and help you guys. But now, you know, this chair feels a little uncomfortable, you know, I'm feeling a little bit hot, but <laughs> I'm going to share it all with you. <laughs> Anyways, let me just, let me just get comfortable in this chair, let me turn on a fan, but, um, let's talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I feel like this topic is about, you know, I'm blushing. It's a hefty topic. Let's get into it. BV is basically, in your vagina, you have good bacteria and harmful ones. And pretty much when the harmful ones start growing in numbers and they start outweighing the good ones, then that's when you will get a vaginal infection, which is, in this case, BV. Apparently, what I learned about it is that it happens mostly in women who are of childbearing age, so... But based on the longevity that you've had yours for, I mean, you could be out of childbearing age and still have it because it was never really fixed. It was just treated. The symptoms were treated. Now, there are some signs, if you can tell if you have it, the number one sign that doctors will know that's what it is is there will be a fishy odor or it will have a very um pungent smell to it there are signs in your vaginal discharge so it may become watery or thin um, it may become gray or white or there may be like a burning sensation when you urinate um, or there might be itching outside of the vagina Now, some of you might be wondering, well, what are some of the causes? And I actually have a little list that I put together and I'm going to share it with you. So smoking is a cause, having too many sexual partners, or even if you have one partner, you got to make sure the other person only has you. <laughs> it could be caused by an STI or an STD. It can be caused by an IUD or a condom. If you enjoy anal activity, that is how you could get it as well. And pregnancy. Now the signs and symptoms I had were, they were different because I've had it, I think I've had it about four or five times. And four times was after every child I had was born because I have four children. Um, Another time was my husband and I were trying not to have children, so, you know, we wore a condom. The first time I wore a condom, um, I actually got a bladder infection, and the second time I wore it is when I got BV. The last time I got it was just, like, randomly a year after I had my daughter, so that was kind of concerning to me because there was nothing leading up to it. Like, before, it was, like, child or this or that, but the last time there was nothing, so... That's when I decided to sought out my own cure because something was not right. I noticed that I had it because there was a foul smell. I don't really want to say it was itch, um, fishy, but there was a pungent smell and it was not me. So for me, I knew there was something off. And then on top of that, for when my first child was born, there was a little bit of an itchy sensation that um, it kind of gradually grew into something that felt more annoying to me. And that's when I went to the doctor for the first time and that's what he told me it was. Then the last time, there was also that itching, burning uh, sensation. So that is how I knew I had it. I didn't really notice a color in my discharge whatsoever. Where I think I got it from. Let me go through the list and kind of tell you a little bit about myself. Smoking. I used to smoke. I used to smoke occasionally. I was never addicted to smoking, but it was something that I would do occasionally. So I don't think that's where I got it from. Having too many sexual partners, right there, I can say no. That was never a part of my lifestyle, and I've been exclusively with my husband, which would lead me to ask him, where the heck have you been? <laughs> But, um, to be honest, I, I've been cheated on before. You kind of know the signs, you see the signs, you can read the signs very clearly. I know for a fact 
that wasn't happening. I don't have any STDs or STIs, so that is ruled out right there. So anyways, I go to my doctor and he's talking about some E. coli stuff, right? So you're implying two things. One, you're implying that I wasn't clean or he wasn't clean when we went into this activity and some, you know, maybe some feces got mixed up in there, or whatever the case was, or you're implying, number two, that clearly something was put in some place and feces were dragged over to the other place. Now I want to tell you something about the game of basketball. I love the game of basketball. Basketball is my favorite game to play on my spare time. I'll play basketball until I can't play basketball no more. I'm going to tell you how the good Lord designed the game of basketball, okay? Let me tell you. Basketball is played where you take your ball and you throw it in the opposite team's net. Opposite team only has one net that that ball can go into. You feel me? So if you want to score, you get your ball and you put it in the other team's net, you get a point. Good job, you're winning the game. Everybody's cool, your teammates are loving it, everybody's having a great time, no, no nonsense going on around here. You lose the game when you start shooting your ball in your team's net. Are you feeling me? When you start fouling out the game, you start bringing around E. coli and all this stuff, you're not playing in the right net. You're injuring people, you're injuring yourself. The opposite team only has one net that that ball can go into. Listen, how you do you is how you do you. But at the end of the day, when you're sitting down trying to research on this BV thing, then you gotta figure out why. And when you start mixing up juices and fluids and solids, people are gonna get sick. There's gonna be disruption in certain areas. The only other thing is, I was using an IUD, I was using the ring, but that only lasted a day, so I don't think that's what caused now, it. Now, that leaves me with the last two things that I was talking about, either a condom or pregnancy. And I told you before, I was pregnant. Every time I, I finished having a child, I got BV, as well as the one time I used the condom, or one out of the two times, I got it. So right there, we know that something was wrong with me in those two areas. So if you aren't using condoms or you are not having children or haven't had any, but you have BV, then you need to check the other things on the list and see if maybe you're falling into a different category. That will help you and then it will help you realize what you need to change or maybe you need to um, alter in your lifestyle. Ladies, wipe from the front to the back. The front to the back because if you do it the opposite way you're bringing that feces and junk to the other side. So guys side. that's what BV is, that's how I think I got it, that's how you know some of the the causes that you might be wondering well how do you get it, those are some of the main causes. I've done some research on people saying you know they've quit smoking and it's cleared up. I'm gonna tell you in part two how I cured myself. I'm sorry I had to break it up in two videos because for those of you who don't know what it is now you know and for those of you who most likely think you have it, then let's go on to the next video and I'll tell you what I did about it.